Brazil looking for that Brazilian national championship title. Here we go, battle of the big boys. Victor Hugo, Victor Honorio. Who will meet again later on today, the final of the absolute. Let's see what they got for us. Now, Victor Hugo is not going to play this game for nine minutes standing. I was talking to him yesterday. He said he was going to, he didn't really have a, a, a game plan set up. He was going to feel uh, Victor Norio out and then uh, take it from there. So we talk about strategy, uh, you know, having Honorio in your close guard, especially if you're as tall as Victor Hugo, it's probably a very smart strategy. You don't want to give Victor Honorio room to pass. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare on top. And I think uh, Victor Hugo, you know, developing a very crafty close guard with the likes, training with the likes of Shanji Ribeiro, Rafael Lovato Jr. Saulo, who's right there. Yeah, and all the beasts there at Six Blade Jiu-Jitsu, now relocated to Austin, Texas. Zone school there. He got an underhook there for a second. It looked like he was looking for a shoulder crush. Victor Honorio was able to shut that down. Now he's trying to posture up. Victor Hugo will not let him posture up. The thing with Victor Honorio is that he's not only a good passer, he's a mean passer. <laughs> and, and you talk about breaking the posture of Honorio. Honorio's posture is broken. <laughs> his head is forward. <laughs> he's in totally bent over position, but it doesn't matter because you can't do much to him. You can break his posture all you want. Good luck getting anything from there. He weighs a thousand pounds from there. Yeah, he's just, uh, you know, he was actually a lot heavier and he leaned out, but his muscle size, his muscle uh -huh. mass did not change. He's still a massive guy. Looking to stand up here. Yeah, Victor Hugo had a, had a good grip on his belt for a second there. Goes back for that grip again. slowly but surely has been able to get his hips far away from Victor Hugo's. Trying to push away with his knee. Now he's back into full guard once again. Seems like that's where the battle lies at the moment. Five minutes and 58 seconds left in this matchup. Victor Hugo on the bottom of the big man, Victor Honorio. GFT versus Six Blades Jiu Jitsu. Not a whole lot has happened so far. And Victor Hugo shaking his. Looks like he's shaking out cobwebs there. He's just like 
trying to wake himself back up, I think. You know, it's, it's very difficult. And, you know, this is what Honorio can do. He'll stay in the pocket. He'll stay with his posture broken. He'll make you think you have a good position to attack. And as soon as you go for it, he explodes out of there. So it's, it's very dangerous to have that man inside your guard and to open up your guard at any moment. That's why we're not seeing a lot of action. And, and the choice he made so far of not trying to stand up, that shuts down all of Victor's uh, open guard game, all yeah. of the leg attacks. Just because I said it, look at that. <laughs> I think he hurt, he did it to spite me. Now, now we might see something different. Thing is that Victor Hugo's legs are so long, it doesn't seem like it's putting any pressure on, on the lock right there. So this is this is where it gets interesting because the legs are open. And Victor's uh, got a nice pant grip on the bottom. But if Honorio gets a good position with the top with the hands, gonna go whether it be on the legs. Guard. Oh no, he sucked them back into close guard. I feel as though Honorio is beating him. There it is. Opened up. Once he and this is and this is what it, this is where he is dangerous. Look at that pass attempt there. Trying to staple him, trying to get his pin, trying to pin his back, using the arm trap there to bring him back down. But now he's ahead, even though it's only one one advantage. Now he's ahead on the score. Victor Hugo got a f has to figure something out. He's got three and a half minutes to try to solve that puzzle. You see the face of Honorio. You guys can't Trying see it at home, but, he's, there. but Honorio's got a lot of scrapes on his face. And I think it's from his, like, you, you can't see it at home, but on his forehead, and both sides of his head, he's got like a lot of scrapes. And right in the middle of his forehead as yeah. well. So he's been head planting or getting knees in his head or arms Close. in his face for a long time. And they don't look like they've been healed. It's pretty nasty. Doesn't seem to phase him one bit. Victor Hugo is trying to get to get an advantage from that. Try to get an order to to address it so he gets an advantage from that color choke. Neither Honorio nor the Raf fell for it. Two minutes, four seconds left. Honorio gets the leg over the shoulder of or Victor Hugo. Gets the leg over the shoulder of Victor Honorio. Honorio backs right almost, out of there. Almost did it. Now, Victor has his, Victor, uh, Hugo has a sense of urgency there. He knows that he's behind, even though it's only one advantage. He knows that he's behind, and now he's opening the guard, trying to shoot for triangles, omoplatas. He's trying to do something. He's got a leg over the shoulder uh, once again. Let's see what he's going to be able to get. He's looking for control on the bottom of the pants. Back into close guard again. The six blade crew. Going nuts outside. I see Tyron. Oh, screaming. up on a single leg. Coming up on a single. Nice switch to the double. And the big man going to the out of bounds. That should be an advantage. It should be an advantage. Which will tie it up. But let's see what the judges decide. And you can see Victor Norio's face. He is not happy. Oh, yeah. And I think he's mostly pissed because he's more so known for having good wrestling. And he probably feels yeah. like that should, you know, in his head. It shouldn't happen. That should not have that happened. should never happen to me. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't look like they're giving an advantage for that. No, you know what? Because no advantage. I understand why. Salo raises his hand in confusion here. The entire crowd booing. 
I think the side referees are going to re they're going to check the replay on that one. I think that the Oh wow, they're going to give 2 points to Victor Hugo for that. They gave him the takedown because they're saying that he fled to the out of bounds. That is what the Six that Blades is, yeah. crew was screaming right here. Side judges looked at the video and made a decision. 30 seconds to go. Victor Norius, two points behind. Looks in disbelief to the score. Yeah. Oh, nice loop little joke. loop joke loop there. Loop joke. I, th I think Honorio uh, is mentally struggle. right now. He's yeah, defeated. Yeah. He's, he's, you know, he's very upset, very frustrated at that call. Made a face, looked at the, the scoreboard, and actually made a face. And that is a he preview for our open weight finals, which happy. we'll see you later on. So will Victor Honorio come back and use that bent-up aggression against his opponent, or will we see another st stalemate? We'll see what happens, but we know what's happened so far. We know that Victor can sweep him. We know that he's got a good attacks from the close guard. And we know that Honorio was able to stay in that close guard enough to not get it, you know, scored on outside of that one sweep attempt where he flight out of bounds. So this is going to be an interesting final. That's going to be very interesting. The, the, the strategy is going to be interesting to see uh, if they decide to change strategies, try to surprise each other. Let's see what they're going to do. And the best thing is, we will be here to watch it. And your winner, guys, Victor Hugo, Six Blades Jiu-Jitsu. Congratulations. We'll see this match once again in the finals. Guys, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more action going into the finals soon of the 2023 Brasileiro of Jiu-Jitsu.